morning reception. Yesterday was Monday and tomorrow is Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, today is Tuesday and it's the 31st of March, the last day of March. Now I still haven't solved the mystery of who ate all the food in my kitchen. I saw lots of you had been guessing of who it could be. Lots of you said Miss Branson, which wouldn't surprise me. Some of you said a lion or a wolf or a dragon. Lots of you said dinosaurs. Oh, I really hope none of those have been in my house because that would scare me. But I've been doing some more investigating and I think I might... Oh, there's somebody at the door. Hello. Oh, it's the Ocado delivery. Brilliant. I've been waiting for some more food. Just leave them outside my door. Thank you. Oh, it's the Ocado man delivering me some more food because all of mine was eaten. Now he has to leave it outside my door. I can't say hello to him because we're doing social distancing. Let's see if it's there. Here's my cardo delivery. Let's go and see what's in the bags. Mm. I have got some more rice. Got some veggie pies. Some wheat a bit. And saying he thinks he knows who ate my food. I wonder if this book will tell us who ate all of my food. Let's read it. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ringing at the door. Sophie's mum said, could be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. I wonder who they're going to see at the door. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger the tiger said <clears throat> excuse me but i'm very hungry do you think i could have tea with you sophie's mummy said of course come in because why wouldn't you say come into a tiger so the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table he looks a little bit big for that table Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take just one sandwich. He took all of the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. They look delicious. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, um, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. I think this tiger's being a little bit greedy. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. I bet it was 
eggs this tiger that ate all the food in my fridge all his paw prints were all over the door that's a bit scary thinking that he was in my house and then he ate all the packets and tins in the cupboard he did that to me too and he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer bet daddy wasn't happy about that and all the water in the tap then he said thank you for my nice tea i think i'd better go now and off he went sophie's mummy said i don't know what to do i've got nothing for daddy's supper the tiger has eaten it all she looks a bit concerned a bit worried and sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. And just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to the cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. You need all the lights on in the dark and the cars need to have their lights on so they can see where they're going. <clears throat> and they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and then ice cream for pudding. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. It's a bit like I did, but because we can't go out and shop, I got somebody to deliver mine for me. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in, ki in case the tiger should ever come to tea again. He never did. Hmm. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we should get some tiger food just in case the tiger comes to tea again for us. I wonder what tigers eat. Could you design some tiger food that you think the tiger might like to eat? Maybe it could be in a nice tin like Sophie's got here. Or it could be a meal on a plate or maybe something different in your writing books or on a piece of paper could you draw a picture of what you think the tiger would like to eat and then tell me a little bit about that i would love to hear it so that i can buy some just in case the tech tiger ever decides to come again hopefully next time i can invite him instead of him turning up in the middle of the night and eating everything i can't wait to see your ideas Bye.